So we're in the chicken coop looking at the brooder. This is what used to be the turkey brooder. And as you can see, there's this door. It has mesh, so all the sides have mesh for airflow. This top half ha has mesh though. Then this bottom half has like wire um, fencing thing so the chicks can fit through, the, the, but the big chickens can't. So today we're gonna put the little chicks out so they can have the option of free ranging. Now all the little chicks are in here and there's a door right here that I just have to open and then they'll have access to this side and this side and they'll be able to get out. So let's do that now. So, so I put the heat lamp and the water on this side and then the two chick foods on this side and then my plan is whenever it's time for the turkeys to come in I'm gonna bring them in here so that the turkeys and the baby chicks will be together but I'll just hang their turkey food high so that the turkeys can eat it but the baby chicks can't so so far no one has gone out of the brooder but they're in both brooders and they seem to like it so that's good well, they seem to just want to stay in the brooders and that's okay so I might come check on them later today and see if any of them have come out it's evening and I've yet to see any of the chicks venture out so maybe I'll show you guys when they actually do I don't know if it'll take hours or days or what so we'll see what happens so it's the next morning and one of the chicks is out guys look there was mama and her three chicks who are a little bit smaller and then this one and I was like mama doesn't have four chicks so he's out let's see if we can get him he knows how to get back in can you do it can you figure it out kind of dark in here still. Alright, so the turkeys are in here for the night, so maybe I'll take them out and then see if this little guy can figure it out. Let me see if I can help this guy. Come on, go this way. This way, please. Come on. Come on, this way. You figure it out. You'll figure it out. Can you go through? Yeah, go through. <gasps> nope. Yeah, you can go through. You can fit. I know you can. Nope, go through. Come on. Go through. Go that way. Alright. Um, well, I put him back with his buddies. I know they can fit through. Um, they can, like, I have a huge, huge chick who's, like, really old who can still fit through these. So, that was our first one. Let's see if any of more of them come out today or if they all stay in here or what. Look, he's out, it's a little chick. It's not one of Mama's, she has all three. I think, yeah, this is, this is one from, this is one from the, oh yay! Yay, they're out, they're out! Oh look, there's another one! So there are Mama and her three chicks, and I count one, two, three other ones. There's one in here, there's two in the bushes, there might be more. So yay, they're coming out! Let's go in the barn and see more of them. And there's another one! Yay! Yay, they're coming out! It's working! So it might be a little hard for you to see. Let's see, there we go. But I took, so originally it was just all the wire that was like this, and now let's see if one of them will show you guys. So now as you can see, um, I used to have just the wire just like not cut and stuff, but now I cut a hole like that big through the wire and they find it a lot easier to come out and they like it a lot better. So um, my worry with that is that the adult chickens or like bigger chicks might be able to fit through, but so far none of them have figured it out. So it's working and I know they could fit through these smaller holes still, but I guess they just don't want to or they're just too timid. So it's working so far. So yay! doing a very good job about knowing how to come home. These guys have been out in the bushes and they're coming back. It's so, oh, it's so good to see. It's been like a few days and I was afraid they wouldn't come out and stuff, but I put the little hole in the wire this morning and it's working. See if these two guys figure it out. They're wanting to get into their friends. Here, let me see if I can start. Come on, this way, this way, come on. You can do it. Figure it out. There you go, go in. Yeah, good job.
There's another one of the brooder chicks being with the mama. And her chicks, oh, oh, this makes me so, so happy. There he is. Or she, we don't know. <coughs> Looks like a she to me. It's so cute how they want to be with the mama hen. So our youngest chicks, they're now more like pullets, are a lot older than they were um, just a few minutes ago for you guys. Um, I guess I forgot I had that footage or something, but I thought I'd finish the video of it now. So they're all doing great. I think we're down. I think we're down to 10 littlest chicks now. A few of them have disappeared and one of them was like dead in the coop one day and stuff. So the strong survive and the weak don't. Um, they're doing a great job sleeping in the coop. They sleep on top of the brooder, like on the lid, kind of, and not in it anymore. And they still have their little food in there. I took the water out because they don't need the water in there. They just need food because they can get water from other people. But the bigger chickens eat their food before they can get to it. So they have a special food in the brooder. They have, we have a lot of hens and some roosters too. And it's kind of hard to tell them apart now still. And they're doing real great. And good and awesome and just yeah they're doing good so so when they're older we will eat them or the roosters and then keep the girls to lay eggs so yeah that's the update thanks for watching and um don't forget to like the video and subscribe and all that stuff um and see you in the next video bye